不真面目なようなら無知が飛びますからね。Okay, got it. Please don't hold anything back. はい。The whip's fine. Let me have it. <laughs> What? <laughs> Come on, hurry. みなさま、the whip. Give me the whip. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Vitamin Dustin, and welcome back to some King Koi. This is episode 14. If you've not seen 13, go ahead and watch it. Anyways, without further ado, let's get straight into this video because I have nothing else to say. I'm sorry.、Um, are there any procedures for when the flu breaks out in the dorm? ね、Why did we get her? Okay. I was being treated like I was patient zero of a major outbreak, but I guess this outcome was unavoidable. Senpai, no me mono cut the kimasta. Poco areas this. Huh? Thank you. Are it? Atasia, a cari sweet to motte chitta. Oh, no. Poco edi to a cari dochi gai. Oh. Making him choose, huh? I don't know the difference, so please leave me both. That sounds nice. Do it. No, no, it's okay. It'd be awful if I got you sick, too. So, ne? Cambio, what does she got sick? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hmm. Hey, Sylvie. She was the reason I got sick, but I'd feel ashamed if she took the day off of school just to nurse me back to health. But Sylvie didn't pay any mind. Yeah, fluids sound so gross. <laughs> She led me to bed. It is not likely I knew she'd be fighting a losing battle against Sylvie and simply held her head in her hand, looking helpless. This was how my week started with the cold and the rather huge luxury of a princess nursing me back to health at my bedside. What should I do if it was the flu? Or worse yet, if I infected Sylvie? Sylvie was keeping an eye on me out of the goodness of her heart. And even though I doubted, She complained. Probably not. Mm -mm. Uh. Uh. Sylvia san? Nani, Oro? Why are you sitting on your knees in the corner of the room? Oro ga neru no ni jama ni nara nai yoni yo. Honto wa, don no bioki mo naoru ban no yaku o yoi shitai kere do. Kono yo ni sore ga nai koto wa kagak teki ni shoumei sare te iru wa. 病気の特効薬は栄養をとって眠ることに尽きるだからせめてその邪魔にならないようにと思って Just a bit I see I'm grateful Unfortunately, Sylvie's presence was making me too nervous to even consider sleeping おしゃべりは楽しいけれどよくないわオーロほらベッドに入って目を閉じるの Right 目が冴えちゃってても目を閉じるだけでいいわ You're like a mom, Sylvie. Yup. I closed my eyes like she told me. I was in legitimately bad shape, so staying like this was comforting. I tried to get some sleep. I felt like I could pull that off even if she hadn't told me to. I was sleepy. Yeah, we knocked out. <clears throat> <laughs> Sleep noises. ですかこの時期は心配だよねあいつがねふん<笑>庶民は風邪ひかないって言葉は間違いだったか<笑>庶民はデリケートな我々とは違うから
病気に強くなるとは聞きますけどねまあ仕方あるまい貧乏人はろくに栄養も取れないだろうかわいそうに生まれからして<笑>な,なんで笑ういやなんか急に嫌な金持ちキャラ復活させようとしてるから最近オーロ君と一緒にいると普通の友達として馴染んじゃってましたからねエロトークされると食いついちゃうんだよね男子って単純<笑><笑>まあでもオーロ風邪を心配してくれるような男友達も出てきてるんだからもうすっかりノーブル学園に馴染んでる、ね、I love Rainer so much ですね心配なんてしてないよところで、冗談抜きに、オーロ君は大丈夫なのでしょうか人手がいるなら、うちのメイドを看病に行かせますが。いやー、そこらへんは大丈夫、大丈夫。お姫様が看病してらっしゃるから。え、きょ、今日、クルスクラウンさんが休んでるのって、まさか。ああ、心配です。Why? Jeez. I thought I heard something and came to. Oof. It was past 11 o'clock already? I slept for about four hours, give or take. Some quality rest, in my opinion. Huh? <laughs> Startled, I cried out the moment I realized that Sylvie was but a few centimeters away. Yeah. What just happened was kind of awful for my heart, though. So we promptly reverted to the nursing mode and stood up. Russell knows. Yeah? The blanket over her shoulders fell. Uh, no. Beats me. Didn't sound like she had brought it with her. Did that mean someone had come by? Maybe one of her black suited bodyguards? Nah, it was probably Rhea. So we opened the fridge to retrieve one of my sports drinks. Yeah? <laughs> it was real. <laughs> Why is it going to be a good thing? Ah, now I understand. <laughs> I've got a decent idea of who it belongs to, so I'll give it back to him. So. Oh no! What happened? Okay, let's see. She made sure I was hydrated and checked my temperature. Okay. Thirty-eight point seven degrees. I hope so. Hmm. If it's something small. Hmm. <laughs> ミルクのパンガユを作るわ。The frick is that? You're going to make lunch for me? What more could I possibly ask for? So we stood in the kitchen. Milk porridge was easier than ordinary rice porridge. You mildly sweetened milk with honey, then dissolved the bread in it, and you were done. はい。あーん。That fast? What the? I, I can eat on my own. ダメよ。こぼしてやけどでもしたら大変だわ。Just gave it to him. でもちょっと暑いかしら。<laughs> はい、あんして。I feel like a little kid right now. <laughs> ちょっと楽しいわ。Now she was toying with me. I shouldn't overreact and let it get to me too much, though. Oh! I ate it. It was a little hot, but I dealt with it. おいしい。It tastes a little weak. Could you sweeten it a little more? I don't want to make it too strong. I'm going to make it too strong. I'm going to make it too strong. I'm going to make it too strong. Okay. I'm going to make it too strong. Oh, shut up. Had her feed me. But then, after a few bites... Oh. Are you full? I must have drank too much. The full sensation you got when your stomach was sensitive, similar to heartburn, was settling in. Setting in. I called it quits for my meal and laid back down in bed. Sa, more than a million. 
I know. I wasn't tired, but it was nice to lay back and relax like this. So he set me down and. Hey. She started to eat the leftover bread porridge. <laughs> Why? Not exactly the best manners for a princess to exhibit, for sure. I don't mind if she ate it, but at least swap out the spoon. That was an indirect kiss. Okay, lick it, I don't care. So it looked like she was enjoying it without a care in the world. Oh man, this was only going to make my fever worse. Hey, yo, chill. She put her. Put, go to sleep, go to sleep, chloroform. She put her hand on my forehead. Then a slight chill of her slender fingers felt wonderful against my skin. The gesture of her hand told me to close my eyes, but I wish I could stay like this a little longer. I'm not sleepy at all. I'm not saying that. <laughs> my joke prompted her to giggle and play along. Are uh, we good? We good? Please do. Oh no. What the heck are you singing, Miss World Class Pianist? I've got a vague idea of what you want to sing, but that's not a lullaby, it's just a theme song. Please sing something else. Uh, yeah, I've heard that's a lullaby in a bunch of places. You don't know the song? <laughs> oh well, even Japanese people don't really understand the lyrics. <clears throat> yeah, the Shojoji Temple one, was it? That's wrong, stop. That's scary in more ways than one. Sounds better. <laughs> That's enough stories, too. <laughs> I closed my eyes. Instead, leave your hand just like this until I fall asleep. It's so nice and cool. Just. Just break her back already, Jesus Christ. Those lullabies were as useless as could be, but having her beside me was enough to help me doze off. I could tell my consciousness was fading fast. I felt like I was sinking into a thick magma, and it was the sort of feeling you get when you were sick. And as it happened... So his palm was unbelievably comfortable, and it helped to lull me to sleep. That's a W. That's a win. A win's a win. By nightfall, my fever had mostly gone down. Around the same time, the results of the nasal, nasal, whatever swab I had taken her yesterday had come in. Why is she still here? Get her out of here. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I'm feeling better now, so please go to school tomorrow. You only get two days off per year, and it would be a huge waste otherwise. I was too unsteady to stop her this morning, but the fact she used up one of her vacation days for me was more than what I deserved. I don't know about that, but also using a vacation day? And just two? What the? What? Nah, she could, she should be able to do whatever she wants. She has power. There we go. Get spicy. 
Shut up, Bella. It's not couldn't possibly argue given how hard Sylvie worked on a regular basis, leaving her utterly defeated. Good. Hmm? Oh, forgot about him. The old man in the black suit, who I was more or less familiar with now, stepped forward. Uh, you really don't need to go to all that trouble. So we had practically gone on a rampage, which was the only reason why she was able to stick around to nurse me back to health today. Or so I thought. I see. Okay then. Likely inconvenient Sela-san and the others of my illness, the same one Sylvie had caused, were prolonged. Should take them up on their offer and get back to my usual healthy self. With that, I graciously accepted. Happy to have you. You're sure right about that? No, not at all. This old man had a sense of humor, so I was sure things would go off without a hitch. Huh? Huh? お夕飯は何が食べたい？おお、パンが言うよりはいいもの食べたいわよね。あ、エル、携帯の信号を用意してくれるかしら。ふかふかさはいらないから、ちゃんと暖かいのね。I'm <笑> あいてが一末殿なので、看病までは許容できるとして、部屋に泊まるなど許されません。いっ、え、でも風邪をひかせたのも私だし。<笑><笑><笑><笑> <sighs> Bro, we, we, we did not say that. Hey, chill. Sylvie frowned and gazed downward. Huh? Things were starting to get a little dicey. If I complimented her now, Sylvie wouldn't back down in the slightest. In fact, she seemed heck. If I complimented her now, Sylvie wouldn't back down in the slightest. In fact, she seemed hell bent on staying over. This left me with essentially one choice. The correct answer was to tell her, You aren't cut out as a nurse, so go home, straight to her face. We're not about to say that, are we? With how Ellis was looking at me, she was expecting me to say as much, too. Hang on. Her staying over was a problem, but I didn't want to play the villain here either. How should I handle this? <laughs> あ、この部屋に泊まるなら、せめてこのゲロを床に下ろして、お姉様が高い位置のベッド。There we go, Mina. Mina Chan threw in her thoughts from a slightly different angle. Sylvie was determined to stay over, but would totally feel guilty kicking me out of my bed and looked visibly bothered by the thought. どうしてもというなら、私のベッドをお使い遊ばせ。あ、今晩は部屋を公開いたしましょう。Minachan's room was across from mine. Sylvie's face instantly lit up. Kami-naru-sama,それは…何、エロいな。私とお姉様が部屋を交換するだけの話ですわよ。あなた、騎士の分際で、私とお姉様の遊びに割って入るようなグレームのでしたかしら。ああ…ガーデム。she got got. The scary lady convinced her using her royal authority in a different way from Sylvie. お姉様は寝るときは必ず私の部屋にすること。この部屋に入るときはボラルコーチェ同伴。さあね、風が移らないようにするにはその方がいいわ。おら、寝ているときに何かあったら電話で呼んでくれれば10秒で行くから。S
All right, maybe my opinion on her is changing. With that, Sylvie could continue nursing back to health until it was time for lights out. Nice, nice. Shiyo-san! お久しぶりにございます。久々様。なんでウォールの部屋の前で突っ立ってんの? <笑> Maybe it's like what they call risotto in Northern Europe? Risotto? What the heck is that? Risotto to a chigao kanji ga suru wa? Atchi wa okome o tsukata nikomi ryori to yu kanji da kedo, kochi wa okome o tokashita kanji. Nihon jin te honto ni okome ga suki yo ne. From our point of view, rice is an essential element to any meal and it's fascinating how Westerners see it as nothing more than a simple ingredient. I mean... Hi. Um. Oh! No small wonder I'd gotten used to this now, too. So we made rice porridge for dinner and included a pickled plum on top to resemble the red circle from Flag of Japan. Well, yeah, it is our national flag. So we pilfered away an edge piece with her spoon and took a bite. Careful, careful. I am Japanese, after all. I didn't like them enough to go out of my way to eat them, but I did enjoy the cleansing feeling it had on your body when you felt unwell. So we scooped up another small portion out under the spoon. What's wrong? Incidental? You mean an indirect kiss? She was fine being on the receiving end, but was apparently self-conscious when it was reversed. What a weird girl. Um. Oh. Swapping them out would be a pain. I took a bite by force. Mm-hmm. So this is a taste of an indirect kiss with a princess. Oh, that was cringe. Don't say that again. And cringe. Sour. What sort of mouth do you have, Sylvie? Ugh, stop. Stop. Ayo. She giggled. <laughs> I'm nervous. I was back to my usual healthy self. However, Sylvie still felt as close as ever. She was more than just a friend, but the closest equivalent I could think of to describe our current relationship might be childhood friends. Sure was strange. I could hardly believe that Sylvia and I had gotten close so easily. Hmm? My phone suddenly vibrated. Oh yeah, turned off the ringer since it was annoying me. It wasn't an incoming call, but a message via Loin. Loin? Loin? Nice. Nothing. I think I figured out where my cold came from. Huh. <sighs> the cold apparently came from Chieka. Oh. I'm sorry, Zoe. Looks like you had nothing to do with me getting sick. いいのよ。私が寒い中付き合わせたのは確かなんだから。それに原因が誰とかではなく、オーロが苦しんでいるなら勘弁したいわ。We figured you'd say that. What a great girl. にしても、千恵香ちゃん、本当にオーロにとって大事な子みたいね。は昨日から思っていたのだけど、今のやりとりでもそうだった。we hope you're not getting the wrong idea here. すごく優しくて。でもちょっとひねくれた感じ。何も取り繕いのないか。オーロがいつだった頃からずっとの中だもんな。きっと私たちじゃ間に入れない絆があるのね。Well, yeah. 
In terms of how long we'd been together, of the women I knew, I'd say she was second only to mom. A little? Hmm. That sounds terrible. I had no idea what look I had on my face when dealing with Chieka, but I didn't overlook the fact that, in the moment, Sylvie's expression warped into one I've never seen before. It was a look I was sure was meant for someone much more meaningful to her than me, someone she only played with when we were little. Why was there this feeling of almost irritation racing through my chest? What are they like? What's their name? I see. A man, then. How about that? Oh, yeah, it's around uh, November in the game. I wondered why. I wanted to console that lonely looking Sylvie in more clever way. In some clever way, but my mouth refused the move. The haziness in my heart might show in my voice, and I didn't want that. Order like, what about me? And then... That was when the old man came in. He had two massive buckets and a wash basin and tow. Basin, basin, whatever. Right. He was here to wipe me down by the sound of it. Hey now. I expected this, but Sylvia really was here. Oh, oh, oh. The old man was much more eloquent than Ellison. That Ellison. Definitely adept at handling Sylvie. There were three containers full of hot water. He instructed me to put my feet into two buckets, then wrung out a towel in the remaining basin. Two towels, to be specific. Sir?。He seemed skilled at handling her but had no intention of actually doing so. Wait, wait. Oh, hey, don't force it. What the? Stop! In the end, Sylvie watched me all over that day. That was one thing to be anxious about, but she saw my huge pee pee. It had been too jam packed today to let it bother me. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine popping a boner in front of the old man and Sylvie? They'd be confused because they wouldn't know who for who. Like if, if it's for Sophie or the old man. <laughs> but the next day, my theory had gone down completely. Yeah, finally. She told me it would be best if I played it safe and took another day off. But... Nah, I'll go to school. If I took the day off, Sophie would automatically join me. She only had two days off of work per year, so it would be a waste to make her use both in situation. So we headed back to her state to get ready for school, and the old man stayed behind with me. Thank you, Mr. Old Man. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the food. <laughs> Anemia should be moderately filling and easy to digest, so he went with udon. Yummy. And he's a knight. Damn, he does everything. Who are you exactly? Heck, even if you do have a chef's license in Northern Europe, why do you know how to make udon? So, who are you? The udon warmed my body. Here. Hmm. Something the matter? 
姫様が無茶を申してノーブル学園に通い出し、はや一月と少しですが、楽しくやれているようで、何よりにございます。いや、かんがてんかべ、this old man was also there back when Ella さん nearly took my arm。ヘビよ、時間を無意に浪費せず過ごしておられるようで、何よりです。Someone had said something like that to me before, too. There was no time to waste an actual treasure each and every moment, right? I couldn't have said it better. Back then, I was wasting every second of my life. I was in shock after being driven out of the baseball club and failing to help Chieka, so I quit school and lazed around all day. Every day is fun and has meaning to me now. I'm grateful that Sylvie showed me the way. ですがまだ完全に有意義には過ごしておらぬのでは、huh? 与えられた立場に甘えそれだけで満足しているのではそれは無意でないだけで有意義と言える顔は<笑> I didn't know what was running through the old man's mind but I did get what he was trying to say and that he was most likely teasing me Sorry if this sounds rude But wouldn't that cause nothing but problems if I made an effort to make my time genuinely meaningful? Your princess, who is enjoying her current life, will end up at her wit's end. <laughs> Just laugh. In the end, he never responded. Why? Then, soon enough, it was time to head to school. More or less. Hey, hey, you're not going to be a good Just isolate yourself when that time comes. Thanks, but I'll probably be okay. I'd only taken one day off, and my return to school was as simple as could be. It wasn't like I kept up with my classes anyway. There was anything I did do during class. It was basically just to gaze at Sylvie from behind. Hey, yo. They say beautiful women are gorgeous from all sides and they're right. She sat up straight and the way she carried herself was beautiful in and of itself. Ah, this was bad. Why? What, what's bad? Tell me, tell me. Hmm, today? How do you know about my gold standard class cutting routine? Relax in the sun? Sounds fantastic. Ah, uh, uh oh. She took me by the hand. Yeah. Even Ella san, who would ordinarily nag, took my condition into consideration and tolerated Sylvie's forward behavior for the day. Nice. We headed to the musical hall together. And that was when. Uh -oh. Hearing the students we passed by treating me and Sylvie like we were a couple made me kind of happy. Oh, I wonder why. Whatever piece you're best at, please. Sylvie,さんなら、ご自分のレベルでみんなを測るんですもの。<laughs> the music hall was filled with laughter, the other girls who picked out music included. Suvi was there in the center. It was a sight I'd gotten accustomed to at this point, but today was the day I ended up watching closely. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I admit it, Ria.、Mm? I like Sylvie. Yeah. I'm totally head over heels for her. 
Hey yo, that's a lot of time. She sure was cool. I felt compelled to share these newly discovered feelings to her for whatever reason, but that may have been a mistake. Ryo took out a cigarette like usual, but then went ahead and put it away. You can smoke if you want. It wouldn't choke me up. You can smoke if you want. It wouldn't choke me up. Ria clicked her tongue and turned away. She really was a nice person. Uh, hmm. No real catalyst, I guess. We were together all day yesterday, though. Oh, and thanks for the blanket. So, we talked and it was like really relaxing having Sylvia around. You know how cheerful she is? She's positive about anything and everything and watching her perks me right up. Everyone should be mindful of her given her position, but they end up adoring her from afar instead. Her smile naturally captivates people. But lately, I've been thinking that it's all an act. Actually, I won't go that far. But deep down, she's forcing herself to act so chipper all the time. Oh yeah, I, I man, that's a thought I had a long time ago, and I just never really like. I don't know. I just never said it. But it makes sense. Like, how is it that she's always like so high energy? Like, there's no way. She's a person, not a freaking machine. She doesn't want everyone to fuzz over her or for them to be unhappy. She's always so positive about everything and is always smiling. Now that I've gotten closer to her recently, and it only happens occasionally, I've seen her get these sad, lonely looks on her face. So that gave me a different viewpoint, which is something we haven't really seen before. Man, I just realized that, geez. That her usual smile is something fabricated, almost like a mask. It was something everyone did to some extent, but Sylvie did so on an entirely different level from normal people. I think it's an incredible thing and I couldn't pull it off, at least. People had told me in the past that I often acted like a mother hen to those around me, too. I couldn't do what she does, though. I couldn't help feeling down whenever I recalled my depressing past or got worn out by my current living situation, and those sentiments would spread to those around me. Sylvie was completely different. And when that idea came to mind, I couldn't take my eyes off her anymore. I think that's love. As if I could? That's embarrassing. Ria leaned against the fence off the roof with a tiny grin. Yeah. Her phrasing was poor, but she wasn't wrong. Ria had told me as much previously. That's wild. And that sounds tiring. <clears throat> Ryo briskly scratched the back of her head. Huh? Where's this all coming from? She was gonna make me blush. Crow。でも、お前と知るびは特別だから。だから。俺が絶対にお前らをくっつける。昔約束したしな。Right. <laughs> she was supporting us, then I guess that made me happy. But yeah, to be blunt, do you think I stand a chance? Bro, she washed your ass. Like, what do you mean? Do I have a chance? Ryo was more on board than I expected where I told her how I really felt, but this was more so my focus today. A realistic discussion. 
This is a sortilege princess we're dealing with. We had to be pragmatic and look at this realistically. When you fell for a princess, was there any probability it would be reciprocated? If this were an issue of feelings, then yeah, my chances aren't exactly low. If nothing else, I'm the boy she's closest to in this whole academy. It was a safe bet that she had taken a liking to me. It wasn't love at present, but she certainly liked me to some extent. I did think I had a chance that things progressed from there. However, that would be assuming Sylvie were just some ordinary girl. When I first enrolled at Noble Academy, I could sense a wall between commoners and nobles. I largely ignored it, but it was now the biggest and heaviest thing standing in our way. I'll cut to the chase. If I told her I love her now, what do you think the odds are it would go well? Um, so that. 30%? Come on. Oop. Low. Agreed. That one's high. Agreed. そして、そうした気持ちの問題をすべて乗り越えたとして、お前との交際が明らかになった瞬間、ソルティレージュが全力で妨害に来る確率が100%。for sure. I knew that. <laughs> Quit beating around the bush and just spit it out already. That last part makes it sound hopeless. What's all this talk about getting them together then? What do you mean, Ria? What's What? Hey, young men in love are usually hurt. <laughs> Ryo cackled quietly. She put her hand in her chest pocket. I figured she might be grabbing another cigarette when... Hola. Huh? Uh... Oh. It was the pendant from before, which is the ring for its topper. She tossed it to me. Is this... This was the ring Sylvia and someone could... I mean, Ria had made together. Yara. Huh? But... Huh? Um, remove the ring from the topper like she told me. Which finger should I put it on? I guess this had to be it. I mirrored the one Sylvia always put hers on. The ring finger. Uh. <laughs> Her laugh. Rio laughed triumphantly. It was a perfect fit. The perfect size for my ring finger. She is pretty awesome. Uh, for an adult man? She smiled mischievously. This went without saying, but there's no way a girl could wear a ring that size on her teensy fingers. Cap. No way. ゼロパーセントでも。シルビーを一番幸せにできる男はお前だ。それだけは俺が保証する。Then she just says 0%. Wow, thanks for the emotional push, Ria. Ria saw me off. I headed back home. Wait, timer? Oh my god, I forgot to start the timer this episode. Jesus Christ. What are we at? 50 minutes? Oh, heck yeah. Good thing I checked. Woo! I already kept playing and playing and playing and I wouldn't have realized. I headed back home. I did peek into the music hall briefly, but Sylvie hadn't been there. I'd imagine today was incredibly hectic for her after she'd taken a day off yesterday to take care of me. As things stood, she was definitely living in a different world than me. Rio may have given her support, but I still wasn't confident. Ah, <laughs> 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 
地方のニュースえー、ピアノのチューニングハンマーが品薄だって何かあったんですか<笑>こないだシルビーが使ってるって知られたから日本中のピアノの子たちが食いついたっぽいお守りみたいなもんかなそうなんですかシルビア様ハンマーなんて使ってるんですね<笑>やっぱりお姫様だから防寒に備えてるんですかねうんチューニングハンマーってのが何なのかから勉強しよっか。To thinking it over again, my position and Sylvie's were depressingly different. The other son was occasionally envious of our relationship, and we were obviously close enough for it to cause problems. The difference between us was almost like of an owner and an exotic pet. She and I were that mismatched. I. Yero, what is the matter? Oh. Mata da rakete. ちょっとは上流階級の所作を学びなさいと何度も口を酸っぱくして言ってるでしょう、うん、ほらお立ち遊ばせお食事のマナーから復習しますわよ、oh, no, now, 今日は間違えたらムチが飛びますわお覚悟なさいはいはい I'm so blessed は My and Sui's positions were like night and day That much was obvious however I never realized how lucky I was. Another few years and I may not have made it in time. All I had to do was to change my lifestyle from this point forward and to learn upper class etiquette, viewpoints, and the like. Luckily enough, I even had the perfect teacher for the occasion. And it could all start at this very moment. This was my time to act. Yeah, counting on you, Mina chan. Okay, got it. Please don't hold anything back. Hi? The whip's fine. Let me have it.、Huh? <laughs> What? <laughs> Come on, hurry. Mina sama, the whip. Give me the whip. <laughs> This was most definitely my golden time. What? What are you doing? Jesus Christ. Weirdo. Jeez. <sighs> I really am. That's part of it. I was hit hardest by Mina chan putting me through the ringer for first thing in the morning, though. No real reason. But I might see some results in the third semester. Set your eyes on the future. Isn't that the fundamental principle behind student life? <laughs> Don't call it humiliating. Besides, I've got a long road ahead of me before I overtake anyone. Your grades aren't that bad. They were lower than those in the top ranks like Sobi, y a l a s a n and Kikuchiyo. But there was no way Rena's grades were bad by any means. Makes sense. I knew that you were rude deep down. Just you watch. I'll surpass and look down on you in no time. Her face. <laughs> ファミネル様がおっしゃるには上流階級のマナーや会話術、交渉術、何より関係性の研究をしているとか、何か心境に変化でも、うん、うん、何かあったの、オーロ。I fell in love. I realized blurting that out would only put her off, and I wasn't stupid enough for that. Okay, good. It's because of you, Sobi. The environment here at Noble Academy has rubbed off on me. It's like all the sophisticated cells inside of me are aching. It's your fault for bringing me to a place like this. <laughs> Sylvie giggled. It was true it had been her fault. Yep, I guess. But I couldn't waste the opportunity of taking experiment. I was gonna say experiment. Planning classes anymore. I needed to acclimate my body to the Noble Academy and to this upper class environment. Naturally, that was pointless on its own. 
It didn't change the fact that I, Ichimatsu Oro, was a commoner. No, even worse. I was an ex-dropout with no prospects for the future. Still, it's made for a convenient assortment for conditions of conditions for the current me. Conditions that would allow me to proudly get closer to Sobe. The point I was getting to was... I think that's the best way to get closer to Sobe. More specifically, I can advance my education and eventually wind up in Ministry of Foreign Affairs. If I study the language of Sotilage ahead of time, then there's a strong chance I could be assigned as third secretary. Japanese diplomats weren't assigned to specialized interpreters, and being able to speak a country's language was of great importance when younger recruits went abroad. It'd be risky if any competition came up, but Sotilage was peculiar in that their official language was in English. If I buckled down and studied, it would probably make for a powerful asset. As long as I become a secretary, I'll be a full-fledged bureaucrat even if I'm ranked third. It's a role where it wouldn't be unnatural if I spoke to a princess, and our social standards would be just close enough to avoid complaints too. Most importantly, people can become secretaries at very young ages. I heard they get stationed overseas all the time, even in their 20s. What do you think? I think he's doing too much. <laughs> She hit me right where it hurts. Yep. The way you put it sounds silly, yeah? Well, obviously, um, super smart people. I get it. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and that doesn't inspire much confidence. I'm going to study my butt off. I'm going to study my butt off. Mm. <laughs> Getting her genuine support was kind of rough. <laughs> Still, it was an unreasonable path by any means. There was this wonderful power called connections in this room, and I could rely on my relationship with Sylvia until the very end. Noble Academy and civil servants, especially bureaucrats, had extraordinarily powerful connections by their very nature. By merely being a Mobile Academy graduate, it would be much easier for me to advance in the government ranks than others. These were the methods of underhanded adults, but I would utilize any advantage at my disposal. That also works. Huh? Okay. それとなくシルビーの周りに専属執事がいた方がいいって話流すなりなんなりしようと思ってた。見た目がもろにヤンキーな強みを生かして、よしとも新喜劇的な。お姫様に襲いかかってお前に倒されるやくとかも面白そう
つかなたくはあえっとだからあそうだ30歳までシルビーは独身を貫いてくれるのか、uh, That hadn't even crossed my mind. No, no, wait, wait. Sylvie wasn't the type to go along with a political marriage. So, the royal family shouldn't inject politics between men and women to any great extent, anyway. Even their heir to the throne seemed to intend to marry for love. That should mean that as long as Sylvie had eyes for me, or in the worst case, Soma King, it ought to work out until we were 25, at least. Hmm, interesting. Well, that guy beats you to her. I had an awful recollection. <laughs> She did have someone like that, didn't she? The man she was closer to than me? If I was unlucky. Ugh. 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 I'll think about it. Oh, darn it. Yeah, that is a darn it moment. Alright, we're gonna pause it right there. It has gone far too long. Yup, yup, yup. Wow, wow, wow. This is this is great. This is great. Um, it was a nice episode. I liked the little bit there they had where Sylvie was taking care of Odo. That was probably like the highlight of this whole episode. Just because she was there and stuff, and clearly, 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 she cares about him a ton. We're just not 100% sure if it's romantically like he would wish. But I mean, if we think about it, just would any girl. Pretty much bathe you? No, I don't think so. A girl has to like you, maybe, to do that, right? Like, there's no way she was like, oh, he grows, you know, scrubs his back. Like, no, no, no. Something, something's up there. Something's up there for sure. But, anyways, that's all I got to say about this episode. It was a, it was a chill episode. Nothing crazy, like I like to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please let me know by hitting that like, subscribing if you haven't already done so, and you made it this far. Share this video with your homies. Let's hit a thousand subscribers, please. I'd appreciate it. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. Oh, wait. Wait, one more thing. If you have any visual novels you would like to see, once again, it doesn't have to be a user software visual novel. It could be another kind of visual novel. And also, I wouldn't be mad if you guys decided to switch up the genre, you know? Like if it was not romantic, you know? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Like horror. Horror, suspense, all that kind of good stuff. Anyways, I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.